the uh, action being destroy right. so when it's finished moving destroy itself okay. we'll copy this node place it down on finished moving select this one destroy so what just happened now is I figured a certain way that I want to do it and I think I'm a few steps ahead and I did it without looking at the node to see what was available. You really, you know, sometimes you assume something uh, and you uh, need to stop and uh, and uh, you know, think it through sometimes and see what's available to you. Because sometimes you're like, oh, hey, look, this is actually an easier way for me to do this on the immediate. Okay, so it should take about three seconds. Let's go to the scene. When they're done moving, they deleted themselves. That's actually great. Now, my next problem is, how do I get a bunch of buildings to do that every time? You know, one thing I could do is, uh, when I send this destroy message, I could actually come back in here and just kick off this whole chain again, right? Uh, but kind of don't want to copy and paste this all the way down. One thing I could do is, um, let's see, actions, all right, um, events, signals. I'm going to send a signal to myself. This is not, by the way, not the most efficient uh, way to do this. But uh, it will work for now. This is a, this is a sloppy uh, way to do this because uh, at some point um, you are beholden to uh, possible latency, um, possible mistimings. It's, it can be it can be rough. Um, start building. Sorry, let's just call this. Uh, I'm not going to expose that to Unity. That's the name of it. Um, but the uh, value, I uh, will call it the exact same thing. Uh, this one, let's actually delete this because I'm a lazy uh, son of a bitch. Signal name. Okay. Now, what we need to do is actually figure out how to receive this signal at the beginning. And event signals, receive signal. Son of a bitch. Uh, here it wants an instance of what's sending it, etc., etc. But uh, I basically just want the view script instance. So that means that uh, I'm kind of listening for everything. You don't always want that, but in this case you do. Uh, I pasted my signal in. Let's get our signal. Receive this signal. Do it again. All right? So now let's read through this. When the graph starts, access the list randomly. Uh, get the name from that object, spawn that object, move it to this location, destroy that object. Right? So it's still the same variable. Notice that it carries all the way through. When we tell it to destroy, we're going to start the process all over again. Right? Notice that there's two nodes here. I could wait for the object to actually be destroyed. That would probably add a couple of, like, couple of frames into the timing of this. It won't be immediate. Uh, another thing to note is like these actual, this process does take time, right? So the longer this gets, the less instant it's going to be. So I'm trying to not um, uh, uh, add any latency. In fact, if I really wanted to do this and I'm noticing that uh, <clears throat> this signal is taking time to get there, I could launch it off from this one because this is at the point where I want to destroy it and tell it to start. Anyway, let's save this. Go back to here. All right. OK, 
Okay, we went. Let's watch the whole scenario. We've destroyed. Uh oh. Something happened. We didn't get our new buildings. Let's go look. How did I fuck up? Uh, signal building spawn. Signal building spawn. Receive signal. Signal building spawn. The instance did not save as new script. So it's not getting a signal from anywhere. In fact, it's still not saving. Um, actually, let's just kill it because that seems to be the spot that it's not getting to. Sometimes I've noticed that when I copy and paste a lot, um, I run into, I think, bugs uh, where uh, some things won't save out. But it's possible. Let's recompile now. Um, where nodes won't take a value. Uh, so I don't know what that is, but um, you know, uh, I'm just aware of it and I sort of work around it. Uh, this should work only because it's a signal within itself. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, nope, it's not gonna like that. Let's pick. One, somebody's inviting me to Dying Light. Okay, uh, let's go back. We missed our, we missed this signal somehow. So on which instance, when I receive this signal, pick another random, okay, in fact, I am definitely going to, let's see, let's actually, let's do this, we're going to send it to, um, I'm going to be double angel on this since it's not working. So we're going to just send it to ourself. We'll do that the same here. So that the signal is filtered by uh, itself. Let's try that. Okay, any questions? Start thinking them up because I'm going to start wrapping this up after this, uh, after we fix this script. Cool, I can watch myself in the past. It's like time travel. There we go. Oh, one of my buildings didn't delete. Two of my buildings didn't delete. Uh-oh, we've got bugs. We've got bugs. Oh yeah, lava, we have bugs. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming that what happened is this spawn game object is not getting set. Uh, is not uh, refreshing as it comes through. So every time it comes through, uh, I've got a bug here. Uh, the solution to this is basically to move this script uh, onto the building, um, and we'll have the building control itself. So when it hits that trigger, or it finishes the end of its movement, uh, it will delete delete itself from the world uh, and we will uh, we'll cover that next week all right guys any questions no no questions no questions? But, uh...
Um, okay, uh, you know, or save them for next week, Carol. You can do that too. Uh, I will probably stop working on Dubster Baby right now, but um, actually, I will probably do some modeling stuff. But I'll come back and review that on uh, on camera next week. But I think we need to have a dumpster and a baby so that we can uh, start to get real, for reals, all right? Uh, basically, what I want to get to next week is the point where we're looking at it and saying, um, awesome, it works kind of how we want it to work. Let's start polishing the visuals, and uh, the visuals will drive some changes as well. But let's get to uh, a, like a prototype version that uh, that is awesome. Okay, uh, and I will come out and fill in this uh, keynote as well. All right. See you guys later. Hasta luego.